Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how to get started using Sketchbook on iPad and Android tablet. When you first launch Sketchbook, you can start drawing right away on a blank canvas with the default pencil. To navigate, use two fingers to zoom or rotate. This is useful for getting a position that's more natural for your hand or to frame in the details that you're working on. For simple brush edits, use the puck. This widget can be placed anywhere, but it's nice to keep tucked to the side. Drag left and right to change size. Up and down will change opacity or flow. When you want to adjust the current color, left and right changes saturation. Up and down changes luminance. When you want a completely different color, tap on the swatch to open the color editor. You can dynamically select color using the color wheel or sliders. You can also use the palette tab. Here, just tap on a swatch and that color is selected. To change brushes, let's take a look at the brush panel. In this default set, there's a wide variety of brushes to try. Here's a marker. Here's a smudge tool. Here's an eraser. Tapping on the active brush opens a window where I can see and adjust all of the properties of a brush. You'll also notice there's another tab. This is the brush library. From here, I can view all of the different brush sets that are loaded in Sketchbook. I'm able to use the pin icon to assign a different set to the brush panel. To customize this to be your own, all you have to do is drag and drop from one set to another. Before I use this airbrush, let's take a look at the layer panel on the other side. At the bottom of every layer stack, a canvas has a background. Tap on this to change the background color. You can also tap on the visibility icon to hide the background. This is how you export out images with transparency. Like brushes, tapping on a layer opens a window with all the options and tools for that layer. This is where you can assign a blend mode. And this is where you can adjust the layer's opacity. To make a new layer, tap on the plus icon at the top of the panel. Layers are useful for so many workflows in digital art. They let you do things like trace over references, build up color or details, and organize your work. To reorder layers, just tap and hold on a layer to move it around. You can see how I just put the shading below the original line work. One of the most important things to know about Sketchbook is how to save your sketches. When you put Sketchbook in the background to use another app, your work is temporarily stored. It comes back when you return to the app. However, it doesn't explicitly save a file that you can access. To properly save, you just need to go to the main menu in the toolbar. If you want to save and keep working, you can discreetly save by selecting Save to Gallery. In this case, I want to show you the gallery. Because I have unsaved changes, it shows a prompt to ask if I want to save or discard the work that I've just done. The gallery is where you see all the previews of the saved sketches. From the menu, you can delete a sketch. You can duplicate a sketch. Duplicating is useful for saving checkpoints of the work in progress, or if you want to make a variation. This is also where you share and export your files. When you do this, you get to select the file format. If you're looking to transfer the file to work on another device using Sketchbook, you'll want to save as a Sketchbook TIFF to keep all the layers. If you want to produce a final flattened image, save as a PNG. Or if you want a smaller file size, save as JPEG. To open up one of the existing sketches, just tap on the preview. When you want to make a new sketch, just go back to the main menu. In this pop-up dialog, you can manually enter the width and height of your canvas. Or you can go to the preset tab to choose from a list of common canvas sizes. 
This wraps up this introductory tour. With these sketchbook basics, you can confidently explore the app and try out all the features. Happy drawing, and thanks for watching.